In this video, we have an indefinite integral. We have x squared times the sine of x cubed. So to integrate this, we're going to make a u substitution. We'll start by calling the inside piece x u, x cubed. So u is x cubed. Uh, so now you take the derivative of both sides. So du is equal to 3x squared dx. Now you'll notice there's no 3 here, but there is a 3 here. So the idea is to make this look like this. So we'll divide both sides by 3. So we end up with du over 3, which I'll write as 1 third du, and that's equal to x squared dx. And now we're ready to make our substitution. So x squared dx, that's this and this, we know exactly what that is. That's equal to 1 third du. So this guy here is equal to 1 third, then integral sine du. And now all that's left is the sine, so sine of x cubed. But we said u was equal to x cubed. So this is the sine of u. And now we're ready to integrate. When you integrate sine, I always think backwards. We know that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we need a negative here because we have a positive, a positive sine. So it'll be 1 third negative cosine u plus our constant. And you can check your work. If you take the derivative of cosine, you get negative sine. But we already have a negative, so negative and negative is positive. The last thing we can do maybe is pull out the negative 1, so we end up with negative 1 third cosine, and then we said u was x cubed. So it will be x cubed, and then don't forget the u plus c. That's it.